everyone, happy Friday. It's Sarah here with the Montana Science Center. As it's Friday, I have another virtual science station experiment for us to all do together today. So let's get started. All right, happy Friday, friends. It is May 8th, 2020 today. For our virtual science experiment on the agenda today, as always, we have our introductions, what experiment we will be doing, the materials we will need to do this experiment, the directions of how to do the experiment, and the explanation behind the science of this experiment. All right, so step one on our agenda, introductions. Like I said, my name is Sarah Snyder. I'm the program coordinator here at the Montana Science Center. The name um, or title of our experiment today is called How Are Mountains Formed? This is a very cool and simple experiment for us to do. For your materials today, you're going to be needing a layer of towels. I use some cleaning towels that we have at the Science Center. Hand towels work great, washcloths. Um, make sure they're roughly all sort of stacked in the same size. And then we're going to be needing two larger textbooks on either end. Dictionaries work great for this as well, or we had a chemistry textbook lying around. <laughs> if you have any old textbooks around from high school or college, this is great. Okay, so the um, first step of our experiment is to go ahead and just fold the towels so they are all roughly the same length and get them pretty tall. You could do different colors of towels to showcase different layers if you would like. So pause this video, get your towels folded, and I'll tell you the next step. All right, everyone. So the next direction of our experiment is to take one layer of towel and put it under a book on each end. And you can just do this with the first towel in your stack. These towels are going to be representative of rock layers, and the books are going to be representative of tectonic plates. We'll come back to that in our explanation of the science behind this video. But for now, our next direction is to push the books in until they are close to touching and predict what happens to the towels. So before you push the books into each other, form a hypothesis of what you think will happen to the towels when the books are pressed together. Tell your parent, tell your friend, write your hypothesis down, or maybe you just have it in your head ready to go so you can see if your hypotheses were correct. All right, so here's what happened to mine when I pushed those books in together. It would appear as though the rocks, those formations of rock layers, became taller, kind of like a mountain would, when the tectonic plates came closer together. So pause this video again, think how this works in real life. How would this work in real life with real tectonic plates, not books, and real layers of rocks, not towels? Pause this video, form a hypothesis, and then we will share. All right, everyone. So I am back with the explanation behind this experiment. So as we know, the books represented the tectonic plates. And as we've dis discussed in previous science experiments, the earth is made up of different layers. And one of those layers is called the crust. Tectonic plates float in a layer of magma in the earth's crust. When they meet or they almost touch, that's known as a fault. And when they touch, and they grind up against each other like the books did. They press all of those layers of rock up, creating mountains. This is one way that mountains are formed. There are other ways that mountains are formed as well. Um, to give you context, two very famous mountain ranges that are formed in this way that we just experimented with, with the tectonic plates moving, um, would be the Sierra Nevadas and the Himalayas. So there you have it, another super fun and simple science experiment. We hope you have enjoyed this and um, we'll see you next time. All right, bye.